All right, hello everyone. Hello, Anime Attack. Damien Thompson. Dexic D. <laughs> you guys have some weird names. Hello, Zach. Fastest Flash. Connor Lucas. Some person that I definitely can't pronounce their name. Can't even read it. Yeah, so the Warthog. Um, somebody left a comment in one of my main assembly videos to, like, I always ask for build suggestions, and I got so many for main assembly. Uh, one of them was Warthog. And, uh, you know, it's about time I do it, so. <laughs> yes, you. You're the person whose name I can't even read. Hello, Dualfonso. Dwal Interesting name. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get right into today's build. Should be relatively straightforward and simple. Not too complicated. Shouldn't need too much, too much uh, special logic or anything. Oh, speaking of logic, hold on, can I? Some game sound and music overlapping in my headphone. Hey, Virtual Doodle, how's it going? Cat Kabakugan. Durif, who is your favorite multiplayer Monday person? Hmm. Probably the person that wins the least. Yes, Cringe Express. I know it is you. All right, so does this build actually? Yeah, cool. It's a, it's a mirrored build, and I have a custom. Uh, I should have a custom palette. Yes. So it's a green, dark green, and white. Should be the colors that I need. Oh, I should have picked a gray instead of white. Well, I can fix that later. So I think. Um, because it's mirrored, I'm basically going to ignore the seat for the time being. Uh, this will be the start of the top front dashboard, I think. You know, I first think I need to get an idea of what... Uh, whoops. First, I want to get an idea of what sort of the wheel size is going to be like. the biggest look like hmm it's pretty good no no I think it I think the the medium let's go with the medium for everything that looks closer to the pick can you make another sports car please um maybe i'm not uh i'm not super familiar with different car models but hey if that lamborghini was close enough to a lamborghini for you then success Okay, so that's around the size that I'm going for. Um, as a matter of fact, let's just uh, place them where I want them right away. Okay. So this... Oh, <laughs> not that. Oh, oh, oh. I almost forgot. Um, in the, there's a main assembly discord by the way I per should probably have put a link in my description or something but there's actually a discord for main assembly and in that discord I haven't actually uh, checked it out too too much but apparently <laughs> apparently that discord thinks I'm in a competition with uh, Mike the one of the developers for main assembly who streams on Twitch and um, for those for those that are following on our challenges or something like that I do have um, an Ornithopter V4 here. Uh, I still have a little bit of work to do on it, but for the most part, it I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get there. I think I can achieve flight. I'm pretty close, but you'll see that in probably the next video. Anyway, one thing that I wanted to... Um, I was gonna do, again, a video to respond to some of the things that I saw in the Discord, but there was one person... You know, let me just look real quick in the Discord. Somebody was asking me something not asking me directly, but they were asking, or maybe they were. 
I gotta check the Discord again. One sec. It was Ufus who asked. Okay, okay. He wanted to know the wave, the waveform thing. Maybe I should explain that in the video. I don't know. I'm gonna work on the warthog a little bit, but uh, so basically the question that uh, was asked in my Discord was if you know, you know, um, when you do the programming. Wait, let me actually go to the programming screen. You can use this waveform function to make a wave, right? Uh, so the question that was asked in the Discord was, how do you adjust this wave so that it um, stays longer on its apex and like at the top and the bottom, but they don't want a square wave. They want basically to adjust this, this shape. Uh, and, and yeah, if you guys are like actually curious about that, I can show you how to do that with, uh, with a little bit of math during this stream. Does turret shoot derf? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if... <laughs> Question mark. Sorry for streaming at uh, midnight for you. But I don't know if the... I, I don't think this game has any... Um, weapons? Yeah, they don't have any projectile weapons at the moment. Maybe they will in the future. Oh, should I even use this? How does this look? <laughs> a little silly. Let's first give it a surface. on yeah I can't I can't exactly scale this in a different way can I I don't think so I'm gonna build my own window it's a puma right <laughs> yeah uh, yeah it's a puma all right so the the uh, the windshield's like pretty far out. Far out, man. Uh, I'll worry about uh, curving things later, I think. Alright, so this is actually the first part of the uh, of the front hood. And then up here is the actual oh my god the windshield? Wait, what? No, no. No, no, don't change my entire thing. Ooh, that's kind of dark. Kind of dark. Yeah, I think the... I don't know, the aluminum's also kind of light. Well, it's supposed to be light green, right? Okay, that's good enough. But I will make this, and this, and this, and all this down here, actually. That's gonna be the, uh, the, the dark one. There we go. There we go. Sort of starting to take, oh, my frames are all plexiglass. <laughs> Durf, the front doesn't go over the wheel. Huh? Oh, oh, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll fix the wheels, don't worry. Um, let's just make a steel frame for now. Worry about it later. So, yeah, the wheels then should actually be... Oh my gosh. Give me the frame. Just give me, give me the frame. <laughs> um, I guess that works too. There we go. The front wheel should be sort of there, that position-ish. All right. Now, how to do these sides? I wonder.
Hello, Dr. Dinkle. How are you? And hey, Kerr. I didn't notice you pop into the chat. Busier times now with it. Oh my god. Did you, did you see uh, Kerr? Like, winter basically turned on overnight. Two days ago, it was still fall. And now you look outside the window and it's like definitely winter. Gross. Alright, um, jeez. I didn't really plan this out. Oh, it's making glass. Wait, what? What happened to my, my frame? All right, we're just gonna change everything to um, the same material for now, so, just so I don't have to fiddle around with color too much. There we go. <laughs> and that didn't even work. Really? <laughs> it, it actually didn't work, I thought it would. Guys, did I find another, uh, yet another glitch in this game? Okay, all the frames are selected. All the panels are selected. So now when I um, extrude a new... Oh, that's right. This game just has curves. I shouldn't even worry about where I'm stretching this. Oh, that's perfect. Cool. And I also... F <laughs> well, I was going to say cool. I also fixed that uh, material issue. But that didn't happen. Hey, Delta, how's it going? And Reese William Lazaretti Waldron. Wow, what a name. What a name and a half. Can you please make a Volvo 740 in the next... Oh my gosh, I have no idea what that even is. Alright. I'm gonna undo... <laughs> everything. There we go, up to this point. And now my extrusions. There we go. Now they're not broken. Perfect. All right. And this, we're definitely going to move back. Something like that. Hey, Nicola, how's it going? And Sora's Gaming! Oh, for the people that were wondering how I have Main Assembly, Main Assembly is in like super, super early access. So don't, um... Don't worry too much about it. Like, the, the game's gonna release for regular early access uh, sometime before the end of the year. It might be around the end of the year. I don't know. I don't know the exact date. You guys are gonna get it for Christmas, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, they gave it, they gave it to uh, some YouTubers, their their quote unquote favorite YouTubers, because it's only the multiplayer Monday guys I think that have it. I don't think uh, I don't think they even shared it with other like, like imagine if they gave it to PewDiePie, then of course they're he, you know the game's gonna get such crazy coverage. Well, if he plays it, of course. But um. What am I even trying to say anymore? I don't know. But yeah, that's just for... It's just, like, to, you know, to get you guys excited for it. Of course. If they if the developers didn't... Uh, <laughs> PewDiePie would destroy this game. Uh, if the developers didn't, you know, let a, let a YouTuber or two 
play their game on video, then how would you guys know about it, right? Um, this is coming out a little bit weird. I'm not sure about these shapes. I need to take uh, a lot, I need to be looking a lot more at my actual build image that I put there for a reason. Sheriff, when would the next fan creation stream be? For Scrap Mechanic? Um, probably later in the month, which I haven't been paying attention. What's the date? What day is it today? It might already be time. Nah, nah, we're like halfway in the month. Hello, na Natter? Natter18? Okay. And I'm pretty sure this... There we go. Uh, heck, we can even move these back. As long... As long as we move this... Up here like so. Maybe? Maybe not so much. Alright, and then the rest of the window. Okay, so I think I have the shape, the rough shape for the window, the windshield, sort of there. Uh, and I think I'm just going to go with, you know, plain old frames like this for the thin parts. Uh, so while I will delete these frames, these two frames, to make a nice, um, just all glass windshield, <clears throat> I'm not going to delete uh, these frames here. Because the, in the image, it does have sort of like a roll cage. Although it feels like this needs to be wider. Holy, the windshield is huge. Oh, oh, I'm not building it to scale for this seat. I'm trying to build it to scale for the wheels, which I, you might be right. I might have overdone it a little bit. Those wheels are kind of small. Or not. I also feel like this needs a little bit of a front to it. I don't know. Something like that. I'll figure it out. Put the large wheels on it? Um, I just didn't like how it looked. Like, if you pay attention to the build image, uh, for the rim size versus tire size, I thought the medium was closer to the actual image than the large ones are. Yeah, it's just like the, Im the, the image is like sort of in between these wheel sizes. I'm not sure. Although the large wheel is sort of better for the frame that I built. Whoops. Whoops. Ah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so then this section... Oh my gosh, this is a little bit too big, I think. Oh no, wait, no, it's good. 
Okay, so then it's pretty much this section here that's the side door. Except I shouldn't have done that yet. Because this needs to go lower. Oh no, now it looks gross. <laughs> what even is this right now? Um, I mean, I suppose I could just do, deal with it like this. <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh, this... It's too boxy. That's too far out. Far out, man. Okay. Yeah, I, okay, okay. I'm just gonna go with this. And then this is like the uh, little, boop, little sidestep on the side. Uh, obviously it's a sidestep on the side. Mr. Durr, the turret will do something? Probably not. Turret's probably just going to be for show. Yeah, focus on on one panel at first. I'm I I don't know if I can do that. All right, I think actually this entire section uh, needs to be in three sections. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, one. Two. Three. Something like that, and then I can just do this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And then we start with some more framework back here. So these are definitely going to be triangles. And there we go. There shouldn't be a corner near the tire. This corner? I'm definitely gonna redo this. This is oop. I almost deleted the Uh oh. Guys. <laughs> oh no! What? How does this happen? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what even is all of this? What? <laughs> uh I don't know how I do this, you guys. I don't know how I break games. I don't even know how what what even this is. This is a, this is a warthog. Um. Um. This is a warthog. The, they're they're just all warthogs. Oh oh, and this is the last good frame. I found it. So apparently, <laughs> I don't even know. Hopefully the undo works. Oh yeah, yay! All right, let's try just um, deleting things by merging points. There we go. Who's the smart boy? Not me. I I want the panel to be there though. Something like that. Good enough. Maybe bring you out.
it's really like my all right hold on let me um let me embiggen the image for a sec oh that's even got like a weird underhang shape to it shoot all right well i'm just gonna worry about the the, the outer shell so to speak even the back I'm doing wrong. Gotta do that better. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do at all. And this is also gonna go. Alright, so the back... Is something like this. Except this is a panel. Oh, why is it steel? Is it steel? No, never mind. Back to aluminum. Weird, weird, weird things this game's doing. To my brain. So it's something like, oh, wait, this needs to be higher up too. There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, actually. But it's something like that. Where the, uh... <clears throat> the back, uh... These, these back triangles are, like, farther in. And then there's, like, a ledge over here. Let me, uh, let me embiggen that image one more time. Also, hey, Checo. I don't know if I said hi to you. And Lego Freak. Okay, so that that, that back surface is, isn't even as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, it's just a weird, uh, weird sort of placement of the back wheel well. All right, so this triangle ends. I just need like a panel. Oh my God. Oh my God. There we go, something like this. This also needs to come in. And even down a little bit. No. That was a mistake. Uh, might need to stretch this out as well. There we go. There we go. It's coming together. This car looks pretty complex to make an MA. Uh, I don't know about that. Derf likes big backs, he don't lie. <laughs> My gosh. Alright, and then we definitely just need like a little, a little something here, just like we did in the front, sort of. Just not exactly sure how to go about doing that. Oh, that's looking good. All right, now let's um. Excuse me, give me the frame. All right, back wheels. Oh, shoot. Where did I put these? Okay. Frame, or the thing is, like, right on the bottom frame. There we go. Like that. Oh, I use the large wheels, right? Yeah, those are large. Those are big boys. Alright, and the interesting part about Warthogs, it has uh, front and back wheel steering. 
I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's anything that I can do. Yeah, there's no, like, um... Hmm... As a matter of fact, I was going to say there's, like, no way for me to, um, program, like, a camera-oriented type of steering. Like, there isn't, like, in the actual Halo games, you just point your camera where you want the Warthog to go and drive, and it will turn and drive to that direction. And I can do that in, uh, Scrap Mechanic Number Logic, and maybe I can in this game, too, if I have the, the right parts for it. And I'm thinking about this. That's going to that's gonna get complicated really quick. Because then I need to keep track of the turning radius of this car and how fast it's going to know how much it actually turned. And oh my god. No, that's, that's, that's a bit too complicated for this stream. Or to build at all. What, why does this look like, um, a lot, uh, there's like, uh, it, it's like an enthusiast car where people just drive these things on dirt roads and stuff. It looks more like that, like the real life car that people drive more than the Warthog so far. So I need to do, you should make the turret to do swiveling. Yeah, yeah, it's time to work on the turret, which unfortunately I don't think I have any, I don't think I have any pictures. So let's, um, I'm going to leave my image a little bit large like that for a sec. But let's, uh, just work on... Aw, oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. Do I want that, though? I don't know. I don't know if I want that. Undo. What I actually want is this. what I want? No, it's not. Why is this, why is this the part that I'm struggling with right now? Sorry, I, I was like completely ignoring chat for that entire, uh, brain session. No, this is good. This is, th this ended up okay. All right, and then I'll probably just end up deleting this. Or no, 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 I'll just slap the turret on top of this. Which, uh, let's, we can do that right now, actually. We use a motor, uh, or a servo.
<laughs> cool. All right. Sure, if the front of the car should be more outwards. More outwards? Oh, yeah, I forgot I even left my image. <laughs> my stream image is so large. Whoops. I said I was going to leave it uh, large for a little bit, but then I just forgot about it. That's the uh, that's the big brain move. Then you're not held responsible. Should be out more. Like um like this. I don't know about that, man. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with where it is so far. I might need to build it out a little bit more. And there's definitely, like, a, a winch and stuff down here. Like, um... Can I, can I just select the, the frame, please? <laughs> this game does not want me selecting frames. This one. This, this, this frame... <laughs> Why? It's just because the motor is like right in the way, right? There we go, I got it. Oh my god. Whew. Oh shoot. I actually <laughs> I actually have to do that again. But at least I learned my lesson. There we go. There we go. Now I can like move this up and like do all sorts of stuff with it and that's gonna be painted black all right hey derf can you make an apc next maybe so i guess uh now my I, I don't know if anybody in the in the stream chat actually mentioned if they want to know that uh the wave thing that the person in the discord asked me but i think now might actually be a good time to explain it because i have a servo here So there we go. We have a, uh, a sort of like a wave waveform thingy, and the question that they asked was, they w like, like again, they want they want it to spend longer times in their apex, but not be so instantaneous like this. Basically, the opposite of this, where it spends no time in its apex and all of its time in the transition, it wants to spend. Yeah. So we're gonna. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. I'm gonna answer that Discord question from Ufus. And how to do that, we're going to create... Oh my gosh, is there more... Is there more functions? Or maybe I just didn't notice. Uh, we're going to use the signed function. And... Um, time. Just something that uh, constantly progresses. So we get a new sign uh, a new sign value. And as you can see, it makes a similar uh, wave pattern. Except this is a little bit too slow. So we're just going to put a multiplier to make it a little bit faster. Uh, let's try two. There you go. That looks to be about the same waveform. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually do the thing that uh, was the question. And that's, there's actually two uh, different solutions, because I didn't actually, I didn't know exactly what they meant by spend more time on the apex. And again, this was all from like the Ornithopter uh, stream for like flapping the wings and stuff. So, we're going to do one modification that is, uh, we're going to have just a constant because we're going to need one, and this is going to be a special multiplier, it's going to be about 1.56. And then what we're going to do is, we're basically going to take 
The sign of a sign. Of a sign. Of another constant. Which is pi. Or we probably don't even need this. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Okay. Alright, so then... This... We're actually <laughs> gonna multiply the... Uh, there we go. This might seem like a little bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but... And it is. Okay. So we got the first sign taken care of. Sorry, I'm just looking at some notes too, because this is a little bit, uh, as you can tell, kind of wonky. Now we're going to just take that sign and multiply it by the constant again. And stick that into another sign. And there you can already see the waveform is starting to change shape a little bit. And this is just sort of like a, a repetitive, recursive process to just sort of like amplify this effect. Which again, you just take the output of that, feed it into another sign. And um, wait a second, I don't need to multiply that last one. There you go. Or do I need to multiply that last one? Because it's not going the full range. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I just I must have just wired it wrong. But anyway, that's how you do... Um... Oh, is that Ufus in the chat? So this is actually the solution that you wanted. Okay. Because, like, I actually have another solution for that. <laughs> so, anyway, you can see, like, that's the original waveform. And then they ask the question of spending more time in their apex and whatever. So, that's how you change. It's just a simple... I mean, I say simple. Let me actually uh, rearrange this so it actually looks simple. But this, the basic way, I think, to describe it is that we're taking... We have just a, like a regular sine function, right? This is the exact same wave as this. It's going a little bit faster. But it's the exact same wave function. It's just a sine wave. And uh, then we're just taking the sine of a sine of a sine with a constant just to make sure it's all staying within the same range. Anyway, then we can use that to uh, do the servo. And that's, that's what you wanted, I think. But anyway, there's, um, I'm going to show you, just because it's, like, super interesting, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys another one that's, uh, sort of similar. Can I just copy this? Copy, paste? How do I, or control? No, I, I can only do one at a time. Ah, uh, whatever. That's okay. So we need another constant. This one's not going to be pi, it's just going to be two. Uh, we're gonna need Wait, can I not do uh, exponents? Oh, there we go Raise the number e to a power Okay, so then for that we're gonna need that later We're gonna need a bunch of signs of course and a bunch of multiplies And you, you'll see, you'll see what I mean in a sec. Why this is even a second option? Uh, it's just like a different, it's a different wave pattern. I don't know. That's just as, just as valid. For flapping wings. See you. Uh, see you later, Checo. Have a good night. 
and you too, uh, question mark. I know it's a little bit of a late stream. Later than usual. Okay, so we're gonna need, uh, time. We're also gonna need this constant as well. Okay, let's spread some stuff out, I think. There we go. Alright, so this was two. We're not gonna need this until later, I'm pretty sure. All right, so this constant multiplied by the sine of time. Wait, is that even what I want? No, I did this wrong. There we go. No, wait, that's actually wrong, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Time, sign. That, multiply by the constant. Sorry, I sorry. I know this is kind of uh, confusing and, and hard to follow, but you'll see, you'll see the resulting waveform in a sec. Trust me. So then this is the result. We're actually going to take the um, square root of this. Not the square root, the... Um, raises the number e no i don't want the number e i don't want the constant e i want just the power how do i raise something to the power i get i guess i'll multiply it by itself okay that works uh, and then um we're gonna take the sign of that and we're gonna multiply <laughs> the constant So you might be able to see sort of where this is going. Um, shoot, I just lost my spot. And I think we just got to do it again. then we've got to do uh, the final <laughs> we need one more of these just a regular sign and then one more of these yet again and we're gonna multiply where's the two that I had oh it's right here <laughs> I put it here for a reason okay then we multiply that by two and then finally we're gonna do a simple subtraction because our uh, our function is out of range. It's in the positive positive range that's way out of there. So whatever the output is, we we need another constant. This is just gonna be one. Pretty sure. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's the waveform that I wanted to show. So you can spend a lot more time on the actual top of the apex of the flap. And then like just a quick flap down and quick flap back up. And so this is how you can get another sort of waveform. Again, just abusing the sine wave on top of sine wave on top of sine wave. There's actually other like shapes that you can create in a waveform with like a combination of uh, sine and cosine. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the first answer to the question, which was apparently the correct answer <laughs> to spend more time on the apex relative to this wave. But then this is the uh, this is the other option here as well. You can see this little dip that it does. That's just um, I might actually be able to fix that by changing this constant. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, maybe. Oh, that's, that's flattening out really, really slowly. Yeah, no, I can't go below, I can't go below one. Uh, 
Okay, so that flattened it out, except now it's not the full range. So I could fix that just by giving it yet another multiplier at the end. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, I actually need none of this for this Warthog build. <laughs> none of this. Boop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wasn't that fun? Uh-oh. I opened a programming menu while I'm in programming. Guys? Guys? <laughs> and it reset the entire programming to do that. Wow, that's a very accidental and quick way to delete your entire programming. Alright, so I don't have a picture of the back of this thing. I don't actually know how it looks like. Just from my memory from when I played the video games. So if you guys have any ideas... Probably just gonna do something like that. Whoops. There's a ledge at the back. Is that a big oof derf? Nah. <laughs> no, I was gonna delete the programming anyway, because that programming has nothing to do with this war dog. But you know, now actually, actually, let's um, let's drive this thing around. Let's actually program it. Power to, we should put uh, power to both motors. Steering to... Both. And the brakes to both. And uh, let's hope... Let's hope it's all auto-programmed correctly. It is not. The front's okay, the back is not. Oh, look at this strafing warthog. <laughs> Alright, so how do I flip? There, I'm pretty sure there's a way to flip this. Well, no, that's the way... That's how you flip the... Um, that's how you flip the drive direction, I'm pretty sure. Isn't it? I don't even know how to... There's a way to do that, I'm pretty sure. To just flip the, the way that it rotates from here. But I never know how to do that. So this is what I gotta do. Not a big deal. Ha what? 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 <laughs> what? Alright. Oh wait, it's not the power that I wanted. Negated. I'm uh, I'm a dingus. All right, here we go. There we go. Now there's the steering. It's oh, nice. It feels a little bit low to the ground, I think. For a warthog. Not sure how I messed that one up. I think I just built it a little bit too big. Because those are the largest wheels, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Hit F on the motor. Yeah, but that, that's for the drive direction, like the, the wheel rotation, right? That's not for the steering? I'm not going to worry about the... Um, I'm not going to worry about how this totally does not really look like a warthog. But I am going to change this into steel. No! I changed my entire frame. I just want this one panel to be steel. Nah, I changed my entire frame. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll select everything but that panel. We're going to set this to aluminum. Oh, I guess it was plastic originally.
There we go. There we go. A nice steel heavy bottom. Big bottom boy. What was this? Oh, this was this was part of the original frame. Um, hmm. No, I can't. I can't widen this out. Well, actually, what I could do is just do something like that. If I wanted to really add more steel weight to the bottom here. And I'll just connect it here. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know the difference of what's going on here. Change this guy to steel. I know that the game has a, a new like weight part, so you can just add weights. Yeah, from the, the, from the misc section. Tools? Yeah, just heavy weights, which I might end up having to do anyway. But uh, I kind of also want the bottom of my car to be a little bit stronger, just in case I bottom out anywhere. Which, uh, by the way, we should probably go test this on the terrain at some point. Oh, whoa! <laughs> All right, the steering is the steering is definitely um. A little bit too much for this car. But then if it's too heavy, how's it going to drive itself? It can't be too, too heavy. Uh, I guess it's not too bad. It's st <laughs> it'll still tip over, though. My god. I guess you could do the same thing in the Halo games. I could I mean I could just remove the back steering to help prevent the tipping. Actually, you know what? You know what I could do? We're gonna do 80% uh, of the power for the back wheels. And I'm pretty sure that it's because those back wheels are like pointed outside the, the turn radius. Uh, it, it definitely slowed down my vehicle a lot, I think. But anyway, if the, if the, oh, never mind. Never mind, it makes no difference. <laughs> The theory, though, was if it just if the back wheels have less power, then the car is pushing itself less in that direction, and the front wheels are more pu pu like pulling it in the correct direction. Whatever, it made no difference. Really? Could be your weight is too centered. Ooh. Ooh, except I don't want it to show on the outside. I want it to be invisible. Man, that's really slow acceleration. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's ever going to not tip over. <laughs> it's just because of the, the steering, right? The, the the front and back steering. Like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident if I just removed that entirely. Then it wouldn't flip over at all. Yeah, it just drifts instead of flips. And it's relatively like the same, relatively the same acceleration too, so 
just for the sake of not flipping over, I think I'm going to leave the steering off of the back wheels and add some camber to the wheels. Yes, everything needs <laughs> camber, uh, but the Warthog doesn't have that. And again, my Warthog's not very accurate anyway, but I think we can finally start uh, changing some of the materials and then finishing off that turret. Warthog also has four wheel steer. I know. Okay, fine, 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 fine. You want to be picky like that? Fine, I'll put the four wheel steering on. <laughs> uh, okay, um, just before though, just before I uh, get so into the... Um, I, 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 I already distracted myself. I forgot what I was going to say. Before I get into it, I want to... Before I get into the changing of materials. There we go. Before I, before I do that, I want to uh, finish this stuff off. Make sure it's all the correct material. You know, I'm not exactly sure what to do for the inside, to be honest. This is mostly going to be... Well, I guess... I guess I can just be lazy and do that. And then paint this stuff black. Do I bother modeling seats? Durf, instead of negate, multiply steering by negative uh, 70%. Uh, yeah, but I tried I tried the percentage of power thing. I mean, I, I suppose... Let's try it. Let's try it. So it has 70% of the steering. Wait. Steering? Yeah, that's what you guys are saying. Okay. So the same power, but reduce the steering. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm going to bother modeling, um, like, actual seats. <laughs> I could. It'd be kind of interesting, to be honest. Let me, uh, let me, let me try something real quick. Real quick. First, 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 though. Let's close this up. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me my frame. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm not sure about that. Oh, it probably would have been smarter for me to, um... You know what, let's do that. Oh no! No, 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 not this again. No, 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 no! <laughs> no! Mike, I swear I didn't mean to break your game. You 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 missed the first time I did this, Mike. Hopefully my game actually doesn't crash. Um the first time didn't crash. Oh, there we go. There we go. It finished processing its devastation. There we go. <laughs> yep. 
So let me show you what happened, Mike. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I did this twice now. I don't know how I ever do this to your game. I'm sorry. I'm taking your revenge early. I'm taking I'm taking my revenge on you early. Oh, you did that earlier in your stream too. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know how like what happened. It just spawned like 50 different warthogs, random rotations. Uh oh. I press Control Z and um, oh, there we go. Can I have my frames back? Yeah, they're coming back slowly. There we go. There we go. Got my smooth 60 FPS back. That was weird. That came back slowly. Um. Okay. So how do I how do I deal with this then? I can delete this, just fine. I can delete this, okay. But I can't delete this. Oh, cool! I can. All right. So I think um, one thing then that I just wanted to try and do is there we go. Give this uh, triangle piece that straight edge. And then here. Let me get rid of this entirely and replace this with a new frame. There we go. Oh, that's looking much better. All right. So what I was thinking uh, before I got very distracted Basically, I can use these as seats. You'll see very shortly what I mean by that. I built this wrong. Already I built it wrong. Yeah, what I actually want is uh, these two to be in more a little bit. And then I'll have to create another frame from here. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. But yeah, this is this how I'm making my seats in the Warthog. This might have been a little bit of a mistake, or not. Actually, no. I'll line it up. Uh, I'll line it up my own way later. Okay, and then we need uh, just like a panel, and then going out this way. And, uh-oh, can't have it go, well, yeah, actually, I can't have it go that way, why not? <laughs> why not? Oh, boy. So, how, how's everyone in, uh, in chat? Really? There's actually more viewers now than before everybody was saying goodnight? I hardly look over at chat sometimes.
What the hey? Oh, I grabbed the wrong point. There we go. Ah, something like that. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave the middle flat. All right, and now for the headrest, I know this these seats look a little bit weird. Let you think Durf still remembers the God of Cranberries? Oh my God, God of Cranberries, that sounds familiar. I don't remember what it was. Something like that for the for the uh, seats and headrest. Oi, yo, yo! I'm not sure about that actually. Uh, you know what we might have to do is for the first time. For the first time this stream, we're actually going to. There we go. Adjust things with the uh, smaller grid size. Oh, you know, another thing that I wonder about this game, as you saw earlier, I tried to uh, curve this, like, headrest. Did I say headset? I meant to say headrest. Anyway, <laughs> I tried to curve this headrest, uh, but it was, like, too short, right? Down here, it was, like, too short. And then uh, up here, it was long enough for me to actually do the curve. So I'm wondering, can you, can you curve a panel while it's long and then shrink it down and the curve is still there. My frame seems to disappear at this point, but the panel's still there and still curved. That's kind of weird. But anyway, let's just, um, just do something like this, I think. Oh, I got rid of all the curves. Yeah, it's just too short. Okay, let's try that again maybe in a way that we can keep the curves. Yeah, I think those, um, those frames disappearing is my indicator. There we go. That looks pretty weird for seats. <laughs> uh... Ah, whatever. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we'll just make a little thing down here. Oh, we can uh, set my grid size back to normal. There we go. Just a little something like that, I think, just to help cover cover up my mistakes. good enough all right so let's actually start um, with I guess coloring this thing hopefully Durf reads this build a ma m1 a2 Abrams tank I don't specific tank models I mean I have to take a little bit of artistic licensing on what I build I'm not I'm not that skilled Anyway, all this stuff is going to be the dark color that I chose, which should have been gray. But I just went with a dark green. Oh, 
Oh wait, that's not what I want to change. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Uh, we're definitely going to remove the frame. Wait, did I actually make it steel? Let's make it carbon fiber. And then we'll, we can even make it the light, light green carbon fiber because it's still going to be super dark. Uh, I might change this though. Ah, uh, that's pretty close. That's pretty close to black. That is actually the dark gray. Okay, that's the dark gray that I wanted. Dear, if you're a better builder than me, um, I don't think so, man. To me, to me, main assembly building is just like a very fun 3D modeling program. <laughs> that's what it is. It's so if you have any experience making 3D models or even working with clay, uh, it's probably probably gonna help you in a in a game like this with like such free form building all right so we're definitely gonna uh, 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 curve that look at that look at that curve oh it is so mm, schmexy let's um change this to plexiglass and probably start getting rid of some frames. All right, unfortunately, I don't know if I can get rid of that. I might be able to if this works. Nah, I don't think I don't think I can get rid of that corner. Or can I? It's pretty close actually. I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if it's um, possible to do that. Derf, don't forget the new hide unhide buttons. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm hiding things. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm hiding too many things. How do I unhide? <laughs> how do I unhide? I don't know how to unhide. <laughs> Control H, thank God, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's definitely gonna be super useful if I need to adjust something under here. Boop, do a little quick adjustment. Boop, definitely super useful feature. Uh, all right. I don't know if, I, I don't know about this uh, bubble, bubble thing. As a matter of fact, this probably even needs to be f uh, forward a little bit more. Which means this needs to come back a little bit. There we go. Okay, I gotta add another frame there just to see, just to see what I'm doing. It's pretty 
pretty close to good though. I don't know why I'm nitpicking so much over this uh, over this windshield. Nah, I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't curve it. Oh, oh! I have a suggestion for the game. Actually, is there a way for me to just reset the curve of a frame to to zero, please? Because <laughs> there we go. I just spent quite a while trying to get that back to zero. Warthog is all about the hard edges. No, that's just the old Xbox. <laughs> that pitiful, pitiful machine that uh, so many people worshipped at the time. Feels like this is taller, though. There we go. Alright. That's looking pretty good. I haven't touched the front in a long time, so I'm not sure about this this area right here. No idea what to do with this. As I proceed to <laughs> fix it. <laughs> Durf, yes, delete the curve point. Now what are the odds that he sees my answer about curves? Yeah, um, about that, I, I, I didn't realize, I think the last uh, main assembly stream, like, you were answering so many of my questions, <laughs> and I just didn't read them. Uh, I had, I played, I played the my own stream back, um, and I was curious about the, the chat footage, so I was just reading the chat. It's funny how even mentioning my name is not a guarantee that I'll read your message. Alright, so where are we at? Do we... Like, this is so empty in front. I think... I think these are all the right colors. Let's get rid of the frames that are on the seats. Uh-oh. Alright, that should be it. Cool. Game didn't freak out either. Oh, that's looking so good. So good. And we're just gonna take you and hide you in here. Cool. And now I can just sort of lazily make a floor. Cool. Haha. <laughs> Oh, uh, M M one A two. You just joined my Discord. That's uh, that's a good idea. That's the best way to keep on bugging me about making a making a vehicle in a game. Just remind me like every day. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have to review Minis mod in a in a scrap mechanic stream some at some point. Somebody's reminding me about that every day. Oh, I don't know if that's too low. Actually, I think this is too high. No, it was not. It was not too high. It 
it's weird. This warthog is weird how the front hood is like nothing. Like, where are the engines on this thing? Alright. Let's, uh, let's just, I guess, work on the turret a little bit. I, yeah, I, don't, I have no idea what the back is like. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. How many seconds? A second. You gotta wait. I'm gonna try something. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I'm just gonna... be a little bit too big actually no i like it i like it i'm gonna leave it but i got the front lights <laughs> okay let's um let's do this uh turret and let's maybe embiggen my image and move it down here so i can sort of see what's going on okay so we have one servo we're gonna actually. And then there's a hinge like right on that. Is that how I want it? No. Uh, is that how I want it? Probably not. Jeez, how do I want to... Uh-oh. What even is this? What? <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold on. Interesting. Okay, I think that happens. I think that, um... Yeah, inside the arm, that's exactly it. But I think that, um... I think that glitch happens where, like, when you delete something and then, like, duplicates upon duplicates spawn. Like, as if you deleted the origin panel or whatever. I think that happens when you have... Or it happened to me just now when I had a part in my hand, like this, and then I just go ahead and try to delete something. Let's try it again, actually. Why are these panels selected? Those panels got deleted. Um, um, Mike, I swear, I'm not trying to break your game. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> oh, no. Control Z will save me. Thank God this game has Control Z. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's focus on what we're here for, which is the turret. Oh, my gosh. Is mirror mode on? It is, it is on. That's an actual feature, though. Wait, what? This? Is it actually? Okay, so you just, you it's a feature that, yeah. You can place things in the air for later grabbing or cloning. Or I could just probably like Wait a second, but the placement out here is like so arbitrary. Why is my hinge upside down all of a sudden? <laughs> now it's a weird angle. Okay. But, uh, so this is like such an arbitrary placement. Right? So is it possible for me to like place something here that came out very different than how I thought it would? And then is it possible for me to just like build out to, whoa, where to go? 
Oh, I can't just build out towards it? <laughs> I thought that attached. Did it? Did it actually attach? That's attached? <laughs> what? No. Um. What are you doing in here? All right. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. Before I confuse myself too too much. Let's actually do what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Achoo. So I might have a little bit of an issue here. I don't need a tissue for it. I just have no idea how this um, default angle stuff works. Oh. That's actually the minimum angle that I want. And that's the max angle that I want. So this is the range that I want, but it's completely in the negative range. So I'm wondering if I put if I put this thing here, and then I feed it a control of well, I can just test it. We'll test it. We'll test it right now. Top servo. Bottom servo. Or a hinge. Top hinge. Um Yeah, let's just do this as a as a debug. Yeah, I think it's doing what I want. Okay, cool. So if default and negative Oh, okay. Wait, does that apply to both ranges then? If I do this, for example, if I did this, then this is still negative one and this is still positive one? It's just relative range to the middle or is this, is this uh, by default some like negative 0 0.5 or something? Like if I just did this to one side, I don't know. That's something I can experiment with later. Let's extrude this out. Uh, we're gonna make our... Oh, wait, wait, what's the... It's always zero? Okay. Positive direction is the arrow moving towards it. Okay. Or just increasing the number. Yeah, this is all negative, so... Negative 80 is less than negative... Or, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay, I get it. Anyway. <clears throat> let's get this gun working. Uh, which I think... Hold on, let's move this... Yeah, okay. So this, uh, this block... This surface is pretty much the front of the gun. Big motor, because why not? And then yet another chassis. Um, not you. All right, now we gotta change this into a triangle of sorts. Is that the shape of the machine gun turret? It's a triangle that spins, and I hope that's 
centered. <laughs> and then we just extrude this out some distance. And there you go. That's a turret that will spin. So then I also want, uh, as you can see, this turret, on uh, the, the, the image turret has some shielding. We're definitely going to need that. Wait a second. Can I? There's... Oh, I did that on the wrong frame, too. Is there a way for uh, for me to make this mirrored? M. Mirror? I don't know how to do it. Or did it mirror onto something else <laughs> that I'm not aware of? Uh-oh. It's fine. I'll just build uh, either side. Hey, David Morley, how's it going? Glad you can make it to the stream. Day two of asking to build, <laughs> of asking Gareth to build a Thunderbolt 2? I don't even remember, I don't even remember the first time somebody asked. Come on. Hopefully that's not going to run into issues. That's kind of a big shield. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. I think we can leave the top. Okay, and then one more thing. I'm probably just going to do that. I'm not even sure about that angled change. I mean, the image doesn't have it angled. The shield is at an angle. <laughs> oh, wait, it is. Oh, no. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. Gotta redo it. All right, but here's my plan. Yeah. There we go. Plan successful. Almost. Shoot, I can't get the same angle if this is a longer piece. Unless I just make it twice as long, I think. Yeah, see, or, like, that's the same slope that I want, but I want it to be... Oh, uh, whatever, I'll do it. I'll worry about it later. Okay. Hold up. Before I get any further, I gotta do the same to this side. I can take uh, both of these and then I can adjust it by a smaller grid. Wait, wait, just before I do that, actually. What is this? Yeah, just one by two. Okay. Okay, so now we can give it a precise <clears throat> precise size as long as we just do the same uh, one by two slope.
which uh, I failed to do. By one spot. Oh no. Oh no. What? What am I even moving? What the heck? This, uh... <laughs> these glitches sometimes. Alright, that's the point that I wanted for that side anyway. Alright, I'm pretty sure I lined that up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I finally got my shield. Cool. Day zero of asking Durf to build an F-22 Raptor jet. Durf, speak like Yoda. No. Speak like Yoda, I shall not. Yeah, it's a good enough, good enough shield, I think. We'll just leave it all out of steel. There's not like a little tiny part that I can throw at the end of that. Yeah, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way that I'm gonna hide this in there. And it's facing the wrong way. I might just leave that there. Not sure. I'll make the triangle frame only. Uh, who's a big brain? Who's a big brain? I don't <laughs> what am I even doing? I'm <laughs> talking like in a condescending tone to your like big brain. That is an actual big brain idea. Why am I? Uh oh. Why you do this? Why you do this? I think the issue is that, um... Wait, what is the issue? Yeah, this is already attached to the motor. I don't know what's going on with this. That worked. That worked. That worked. Hey, that worked too. Um... Now that I see what's going on here... I actually don't want to delete that panel just yet. Or at all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, scratch this. Scratch this entirely, just for a sec. We're going to extrude this out again, and we're going to go, um, um, three, and then we're going to do the rest, which I think is just like this. Okay. Now from here, we can uh, delete. No, not this again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Delete you. No! It worked last time when I did uh, when I did it one by one. I'll try from this side. No! Not sure what's going on. I shall try changing color. That's gonna fix it, right? Why can't I work on this anymore? That's so weird. Try undo followed by a redo? Huh. 
Huh. All right. Oh, God. Oh, well, that one came out green. Weird. No! Not this again. Undo, redo. Weird. That's so weird how the undo redo like fixes it. It's a little bit too shiny and chrome-like. <laughs> I guess that's sort of... Maybe... Maybe let's try the, the dark color. Ah, it's better than nothing, I think, at this point. The, the, the guns in the picture, though, they're like the light green. <clears throat> Let's try the light green. What the heck? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we're gonna try steel, which is like the darkest material, but we're gonna try it with a light green. Yeah, I don't know. It just matches. I think it matches the style a little bit better. I could try. Carbon fiber is also another very dark option. Yeah, but plastic, look at that. Oh my god, it's so bright. So then if I had like a a, a gray option, I think I think that would be good for the guns. But see white white plastic is eh, looks like a toy. The carbon fiber is not bad, actually. We figure if we can fix 10% of derf bugs, <laughs> the game will be solid for regular people. Maybe. Maybe. Oh wait, was that already the was that already the tent? Nope. All right, that's actually looking really good though. Guys, guys, look at this. Warthogs come together real nice. And I should probably finish it in the next 10 minutes. Um, so then, what what kind of controls do I give this? I should probably also, uh, do something with the back here.
looks so good though. I, anyway, not to toot my own horn or anything. <laughs> I'm just really liking this game. Uh, Durf, you steer the gun. Car should naturally then try to follow it. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't expect that level of programming. All right. All right. <clears throat> um, should be possible to do. Oh, which, by the way, I should probably actually give this gun, like, a set of handlebars, too, right? That's better. Sort of. Not really, actually. That's... Hmm. How do I do this? Those are so, like, tiny, tiny little things in the actual picture. I think I'm just gonna go with that. And I think I'm also just going to leave it, uh, oop. I think I'm also just going to leave it up there, nice and straight. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, so I am going to uh, stream a little bit over two hours, I think. That probably means the stream VOD will be up tomorrow, if you want to watch the complete footage. Uh, but I am going to, I think, give a shot at uh, the programming that Mike suggested. Which, by the way, did I ever test out if this actually helped the flipping or not? I don't think I ever did. Still have those heavy weights in the bottom. Yeah, the, uh, the understeer in the back doesn't exactly help. Let's try the same kind of... We're also going to uh, reduce the power of the back a little bit too. And just hope that, that helps. So far... <laughs> Never mind, I just shouldn't speak. I just shouldn't speak anymore. You can adjust the steering angle? Ah, what do you mean, like this? Or you mean... Oh, you mean in here. Like, instead of being a dingus over here, I can just adjust it. I can't change this to negative, though. That's what I tried to do one time, and this, it, it, it can't go negative. Mirror mode! That's probably the negative! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
But what's 70% of... What's 70% of 25? I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I'm also not sure what to do with the back here. It's still very open and exposed. But I think, um... I think let's... Just get rid of the brakes entirely. We don't need any brakes. And for space bars... Space bars? We're gonna pretend we're shooting. Not bad. I got my triangle sort of in the center of rotation. Yeah, it's not bad. At least I don't think so. 17.5 derf. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, so then... Oh, boy. You change... But that's not going to change my camera angle, is it? Hold on. I gotta try something. No, I can't. I can't. I don't know... What I want to know is this speed... I wish there was like a... What am I, what am I even trying to wish for? Yeah, just some more parts like this. Something that can let me see, like, the camera, uh, like, where my camera is pointing. So then I can use, like... I don't know, because that, I guess... That's sort of how the, the Warthog goes. You can throw a gyroscope. Yeah, I know I can do that, but... It's not going to tell me... Um... Like, I, I, sort of what I wanted to happen was... This turret to be locked to my camera. Camera lock. Which, maybe if I put my seat on there, maybe I can do that somehow. Attempt to follow behind or free. Yeah, so... I, I guess it's not going to be like a super responsive one then, but... I don't know how to do that then. How do I make... How do I make the follow camera? I can't access the options, right? So... Hmm... I don't know, I was kind of hoping I could just, uh, like, if my steering controls does control the, uh, the gun, then at least my camera would move with it. From the main menu, eh? Alright. We'll worry about that in a bit, then. You know what I should worry about, though? Actually saving my robot. <laughs> First time I did. Oh my god. And you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna take a picture. Boop. Look at that. All right. So then, uh, yeah, let's let's work on the actual steering. It's gonna move the gun, which is this this bad boy over here. This is a servo, right? Angular speed, sure. Oh, oh, oh no. This is actually not what I want. 
This is actually not what I want at all. There's not, um... I kind of want this to be on a hinge. But that's, that, that's kind of weird to do. Okay. So I, I, I think then what I could do is set up, whoops, set up a bunch of like uh, math constants or whatever as like a default steering angle. And then if it's, where are the comparative functions? What is this? Oh, oh, is that like a like an attachment part? Okay. What was I looking for again? Pretty sure. No, what I'm actually looking for is this servo. There we go, read the angle. And we're gonna subtract that from zero. Wait, I don't even need to do that. <laughs> I don't even need to do that. Okay, okay. I think what I actually wanna do is just add this. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Add the reverse of this to literally my steering control. Is that... Wait. That seems too perfect and exactly what I want. So did this actually do anything? Or am I just being silly? I think I am being silly. What? Why? <laughs> Why did I even try any of that? And then why does this servo have like a, a min and max angle to it? That's not making sense to me. Oh wait, what? I forgot how servos work, apparently. What? Hold on. Oh, this is the thing that you can... Okay. Okay, servo is actually the part that I want. <laughs> you want the wheel delayed behind the servo. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I just totally forgot. So we can just uh, totally increase this range all the way. All right, and then uh, for the pitch, I don't know how I'm gonna do the pitch. That's kind of why I wanted like uh, mouse controls, right? So I could just sort of point my gun. But you, you know, I could probably um, set up some kind of controller support for this. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I ran into the bug with the uh, maxed out servo ranges already. Not, uh, not gonna deal with that. So steering. Which again, the steering, doing this to the steering did kind of nothing. I just gotta remember this one. So wait, does this mirror mode will split the node for each mirrored part, but it's not mirrored. Or wait, is it? It is mirrored. Right, so yeah, I, I need, I'm gonna need this either way, I think. Okay, servo, now we actually want to read the angle. All right, and then this angle is going to be, yeah, fully to the left or fully to the right. 
Maybe we can just uh, hook it right up, right up into there. Why not? You said it needed to be delayed, but maybe not, because it's not like fully to the left and fully to the right is all the way like this. Did I not hook up the um, the back steering? I did not. Yeah, so it actually takes a really long time to steer. This might actually be a bad thing. Or not. This isn't bad, actually. And I'm not flipping over. It must be because of the... Uh... <laughs> oh, boy. It must be because of the crash. Okay, so then what do I do with the with this? I guess we just gotta start programming uh, controller support, right? Um, yeah, it should be the A button. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's how you shoot in the Warthog. No. I don't remember how... I don't remember the Halo controls. Um, and this has the steering. Hmm. No, I'm really not sure about that, actually. We are going to do some sort of delay, I think. Actually, okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. I think this is all good. This hinge. Oh, yeah, the hinge. The hinge. Um, uh-oh. Okay, something something weird just happened to my... Yeah, why is it pointing up? It's kind of weird. But I think we're just going to do... Um, uh, the right stick up and down. Just to actuate that. So then the left stick... Or wait, the... This is the left stick for steering. No, 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 no. No, I want this to be... the right stick for steering the gun. Wait, then I can just steer the car separately, right? If I'm using a controller and I have two thumbsticks... I was gonna do something super complicated and put like a gyroscope on the body of the car and a gyroscope on the turret of the car and then use like math, uh, like comparing the two angles to each other to like gradually go back to its target, which is wherever the turret is pointing. But I don't need to do that. All right, well, let's see Let's see what this is so far. I mean, aside from the uh, not shooting, I think it's pretty much what a warthog is. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. All right, so then uh, we're definitely saving this bad boy. I think the right stick is also moving the camera at the same time. Oh well, yeah, that's because I put my seat here. Uh, that was intentional. I wanted I wanted my camera to follow the right stick. 
So that's good. The only not good part about it is that uh, I when I pitch my gun up and down, but I don't really pitch my gun up and down anyway. So in theory, you can make it move the turret one to one. Yeah, there's definitely uh, I, there's plenty of other build projects that I have actually in mind. So the warthog was actually the simple idea because I wanted to relax today. <laughs> the warthog was a simple idea. Uh, so I don't want to invest too much too much programming into this, but I have some other ideas that will definitely um, Yeah You'll see you'll see when you see So let's just uh, quickly finish this off with some Deletion of frames here and there. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's see what this looks like without any frames. Except I ruined it. I ruined it. Yeah, let's undo that because we want to keep. We'll select all the frames, but then we want to keep uh, this one and this one. And this one. I think that's it. Alright. Hey, there we go. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Here, if you can double click on a curve point to re add frames. Ooh. Ooh. Super useful. Let's give it a try. Oh, cool. Yeah, I saw like in the uh, in the schematics, it's just like a hidden option, right? Like deleting a frame is actually just hiding it or something like that. Or not necessarily, not all the time, I think. Because then like what happens if you do this and then this and then delete this? No, it's just hidden, because <laughs> this is still connected. It's still part of the same body. See? Yeah, so it's just hiding the frames. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Not this again. This is probably, this is pro like, this is the most I've built up the Warthog at this point, so it's, we're gonna have to wait a minute for this to process. Oh, there we go. Hey, how many Warthogs do we have? <laughs> so many Warthogs. No wheels or anything, either. Alright, so let's, uh, instead of trying to delete anything, let's just control, control Z our way out of that. Oof. I swear I'm not trying to break your game. Alright, so let's take a quick look. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure there's a whole lot that I can do. Uh, maybe I can just, like, curve some of these. Oh, that looks good, though. It's more like a puma now. Oh, that looks so much better. Ah, uh, give me a sec. I got a cat pawing at my door. Okay. So yeah, I'm not sure if I can really do any other curves to really make this uh, look nice. Nah, I don't think um, maybe in the back here. 
Oh, there's also there's also like a little spoiler that I didn't notice at all. Yeah, and then underneath, uh, shoot, <laughs> I didn't exactly make this easy for myself. So let's re-add some frames super quick. Okay, so then underneath, I'm just going to build a little bit of a sort of a wheel well, I guess. Just to hide, make it look a little bit fuller, you know? I don't know. I don't. I, I'm trying to. I was trying to do like a just a lazy cover, but I, I'm gonna put a little bit of effort into it to make it a proper wheel well. Yeah, which is pretty much doing one more panel than I intended to. Ew, ew. I don't like how that's happening. Um, problem is, I think this is like my origin panel right here, so I can't exactly delete it. Yeah, can't, can't be deleted. It's fine. It's fine, I'll just connect those corners and worry about the front later. <laughs> Okay, and then back here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? Turning into, what? What are you turning into? How do I do this? How do I fix this? Flip? No. <laughs> Flip. Flip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Oh, it's all because I connected this silly nonsense. Let's try deleting this first. <laughs> Let's not do that. Okay. This is what I got to do. I didn't want to do it, but that's what I got to do. Okay, and then we'll just make this, all of this, uh, probably black steel. And that's a wheel well. And then I just gotta close the back here. Uh, I do the same for the front wheel wells. Can I change, why is this red? I don't have a single... Not like they really do much for me anyway, I might just remove them. Nah, as long as they're not showing, it's alright. Okay. Hey, Turbo Blitzer! 
Random question, but what's your favorite number, Derf? My favorite number... I have several favorite numbers for s several different reasons. Several different occasions. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what to answer for that. I mean, numbers are sort of like colors, right? Like, you can ask someone, what's your favorite color? But in the end, um, people appreciate all colors. Maybe that's just something that happens, like, when you just get too old to have a favorite color. That's not how I did the back. Whatever. Whatever. I just want to finish this. There we go. Hey, Bruce. Looked like a three-wheel for a sec. I know, it was actually really cool. Kind of reminded me of a Batmobile or something. And then I think this has to, uh, oh my gosh, has to come out this way to help finish the front right here. Perfect. Perfect. Except for this. No! I <laughs> got the glitch again. Oh. Uh, Gotta wait a minute. A minute or two. Is it actually the, the fourth time this happened, Mike? <laughs> Is it actually the fourth time? Oh, there we go, there we go, I heard it. Wow. Where even is it? It's gone, it's completely gone. Must be underground or something. All right. Uh, so we're actually just going to undo my way out of that entirely. There we go. That's what I wanted to build. Actually, it might not even be necessary. <laughs> that entire thing might not have been necessary to do. All right. And uh, we'll curve that a little bit. Why not? Why not? Actually, that's why not. <laughs> all right. And then uh, we can finally get rid of all the extra frames. And make sure all of these panels are the... Oh, wait. I forgot to cover this up. I don't think... Uh, I mean, if I really, really didn't notice, then I don't think I need to cover it up. Okay. Now, there's only one thing that I... Like, I wish... I wish I knew what to do with the front here. Um, actually, I have an idea already. I have an idea already. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> uh, 
kind of a really bad idea. Oh no, I'm starting to overlap them. That's a bad idea. <laughs> but that's that's my idea to like sort of build the winch. Um let's try that a different way, I think. Uh let's try it with a center thingy madu. <laughs> Was that mirrored or not? I don't know. Wait, how do I how do I turn on and off a mirror again? I select the part and hit M, right? Or not. I forget. All right, so two, three, four, five. This is gonna make my front heavier by 10 pounds, I realize that. If I can just put it on the other side. Just put it on the other side. All right, all right. You want to play? You want to play that game with me? I'll show you. I'll show you. How dare you challenge me, video game? Do you know who you're dealing with? <laughs> all right. One, two, three, four, five, and then we just merge these edges together. Bam. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did it flip? Did it flip into place? Oh, where'd they go? What? They're gone. They're completely gone. What? Yeah, it's the, it's like they merged into place and then I couldn't control Z them out of there. Okay. All right, so then what I actually want to do is this. And I want to move this. Oh, wait, I can just move it. Why didn't I move it? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Where I know exactly how to fix this. Hold on. I want to position it. I'm going to position it here for now, just so that I can... There we go. Position it right on the corner. Sure, doesn't matter what side you're on. Okay. Oh, that's my issue. All right, whoa. I'm understanding now, I'm understanding. I did this entire thing wrong. I need to do it like this. And then I merge them. And I hope that that works. And it doesn't work. Okay, so then next plan, uh, I'll just put it on the inside. Cool. And there's my winch. <laughs> the winch that is just for show. Can I please just... Fine. Fine. 
can't doesn't let me select the uh, the frame I'll select the vertices there we go all right so it actually has a winch that doesn't do anything ah uh, shoot this entire front section is also just just like a bunch of bars too Oh, come on. All right, it needs a panel there. And I think I can also move this guy back. Perfect. And then we'll just color all of this. and black all right and I think we're done except for the yellow color that's right oh this is supposed to also be yeah there's hardly any difference I think did, did I make this into steel there's hardly any difference in the color though between aluminum and steel if it's all black same difference though All right, I think we're just about ready to spawn this in the terrain map. Huh. Yeah, that's right. There's not, um... Durf, are you going to bed this week or no? <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, no. I'm not. I have several videos to record for several different channels, and no, I'm not. I'm just not going to bed this week. Ah, uh, we gotta close up this back. 100% we gotta close it up. Let me just get this out of the way. And we'll just call that... Good enough. Give me the frame. All right. And then last thing, uh, last, one last thing that I want to do is... Give this guy a, um, a tail light. So we're gonna go down three in one, down three in one, up three in one, up three in one. And then we'll move this right back into place. Delete all these brand new frames. I can't even tell what I'm selecting right now. Okay, cool. Wait, no, not cool. I still have the panel selected. Ah! Whatever, I'll just do it one by one. <laughs> As I continue to select multiple frames again. Totally doing it one by one this time. There we go. There we go. And then this guy, I can just... Oh, I don't have the color red. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's probably one suggestion I have for this game, actually. Can we have more than three colors for a robot? That's probably something that I kind of wish we had. But I'm going to have to make it white. White in the back. 
And I think maybe I might also try this. Yeah, I think that looks better on the back. All right. Let's give this a final save. I'm kind of happy with how it... Oh my gosh. Looks so nice. Better than my Lamb... Lamborg Genie. Guys. I can't wait for everyone to have the game and publish these to the workshop so people can build better war <laughs> warthogs than mine. Why is it called a warthog instead of a warthog? Anyway, let's uh, let's go spawn this in. Um... Oh wait, wasn't there a thing that I wanted to do? Oh yeah, the follow cam. I wanted to see what that was, but no. Let's uh, let's spawn this in a. Let's also get rid of my build image. I don't need that anymore. Uh, ski jump. Yep. I already forgot my controls. Ooh, what? what? my frames oh they're coming back okay cool all right I forget my controls so uh... cool awesome I'm so happy with this Okay, let's uh, let's go down the jump. Oh, oh! This is actually the first time I'm going down this jump in a uh, proper vehicle that I was gonna say didn't destroy itself on the way down, but pretty much did. What the heck is going on with my camera, too? <laughs> I'm just trying to take a peek. Hey! There's even uh, uh, distance markers? I had no idea. Um. Oh, okay, I was just sitting in nothing. Uh, there was distance markers, I had no idea. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to make a competition out of this. Yeah, that flew way further than I thought it would too. I think, I think that's because um, of all the weight that I added. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's go to the top of the mountain. Too bad there's not like a there, there's got to be like a spawn point at the top of the mountain, or there's got to be an even taller cliff, like just a sheer cliff to spawn off, uh, spawn, off, spawn off of. But anyway, I think I think let's drive it off the mountain, and then uh, call it a stream. We're coming close to the three-hour mark. If there's anything else that you guys want to see real quick before we end the stream, uh, let me know in chat. What do you think? Do we drive off in this direction and just go smash, smash, smash? Or do we go off the back side of the mountain where it's like all one steep slope? This actually makes like another ski jump. You see this right here? This sort of makes like another ski jump. We're gonna take this. Sorry, I made this the decision for you guys. <laughs> You're now in the main assembly Discord? Cool, cool. Are you in my Discord? How are you in their Discord, but not my Discord? Puh. <laughs> just, just messing with you. No, chances are you're probably all already in my Discord. Even though none of you are active. Who's active in my Discord? No one. This is, yeah, there's like no spawn point for that. You see what I was talking about though? Like right, if you drive right down here, and then just like the left side of this, where my cursor is, that's sort of like a ski jump. So that's sort of where I want to drive down, but there isn't really a spawn point for that. And like if I spawn, well, yeah, no, even if I spawn here and then like I just drive that direction, I'm gonna end up falling down here. There's also this side of the mountain. Yeah, no, that's, the pathway up there that's gonna 
before I flip just short of the jump. I know, right? <laughs> Alright, we're going to try and spawn just like this. Right here. Boom. Cool. It spawned in the right direction. Let's do this. Oh my god. I'm not even accelerating. No! <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Didn't even get to it. Alright, alright. I'm getting out of that. Jeez, I couldn't even touch my controls. Huh. I just heard the crash. Alright, we'll try... Um, there's this tiny, tiny ledge. I don't know. Alright, we'll try right here. We're right here. Heck, we'll try right here. Okay, let's... Uh-oh. My engines... <laughs> my car is heavy and my engines don't have the power to go up a slight hill. This is kind of a problem. Alright, let's... Let's let's do this! Oh, oh, oh! No! Yes, 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 yes! Go backwards. I'm Okay, forwards, whatever. I'm cool with any direction. Just pick a direction and go. No! <laughs> yes? <laughs> kind of works. Oh, where's the rest of the? <laughs> where's the rest of the car? Uh, all right, fun stuff. Frozen River. Oh, there is one thing that I want to. This is not the Frozen River. Also, this Frozen Waterfall. Super cool. Oh, 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 oh! What's this? What's this that I'm looking at? Now, nah, where's the actual frozen, uh... Oh, here it is. Yeah, there's one thing that I wanted to try just before we go. Um... And I might have to rebuild something. Or re build something new entirely. Because I don't know if it's going to work. So, if you don't know already, this game has ice. And... This car drives so much better on ice, actually, <laughs> than it does on regular ground. Uh, but then, yeah, you, as you can see, we we end up sliding around. Yeah, just like this. Very slippery. So, um, one thing that I really wanted to try, I wanted to test out. This game has... A friction pad. So I want to see what happens... Friction pad versus ice. What happens? And to do that, we're just gonna we're just gonna remove all of our wheels. We're gonna take this, just lower it. We're basically uh, transforming this into a sled of sorts. And we're going to strap just a big old thruster in there near the front so it's like pulling us I guess or no 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 near the back so that if we uh, slide if we drift then we drift like we, we know that we're drifting all right and then um, quick programming I like that the thrusters are in a new thrust category. I think they were in a, like just a motor category before. I think that's actually good now. All right, so uh, that was space bar, right? I wasn't paying attention to what I did. Space bar for jet power. Okay, so let's test this. This is a Warthog sled. I guess pretty decent acceleration for whatever this is. This is the acceleration that I'm, that I'm this is the baseline. All right. Um, we're just gonna leave that there. Okay, so now I want to add friction pads to the bottom of this, and I want to see friction pad versus ice. What sort of noticeable effect is there? If I can even notice anything. Um. 
Didn't mean to do that. All right. To be honest, I don't know if it does anything. Maybe it's a little bit slower, but like, this is this is like if you were to try to use Velcro on ice. You know, ice is ice. It doesn't matter what you put on it. There's still that slight bit of water layer on top that will make anything slip. Yeah, it definitely, okay, so it, I definitely slowed down a little bit faster than I expected to there. So I think the friction pad actually does do something on ice. They start having a bit more friction than lose it. Oh, okay, so it's the static friction, not the, uh, okay, not the kinetic friction, not the rolling friction. Speaking of rolling friction, I was thinking about making wheels out of these friction pads. But anyway, uh, let's, uh, paying attention, so... I do go back, though, for the comments. I definitely get those 100%. So if you have anything to say to me about uh, today's stream, definitely leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you, everyone, for chilling with me this uh, afternoon. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and give me new build ideas, too, in my Discord, in the comments, everywhere. Give me new build ideas. Bye.